what you perceive is laya what others see is tala what is produced is an art actually i uh, i was as a kid of about 5 years old uh, those days we didn't have fridge at home refrigerator at home so we used to have this uh, clay pot to store water it's a very common uh, aspect in india at the time when the summer seasons come you know it is really very hot that too in the southern uh, tip of uh, southern uh, india southern part of india uh, the temperature uh, rises about uh, 100 degrees or 104 degrees or 105 degrees so it is very hot so those days uh, my parents used to keep water in the uh, mud pot after 6 months the mud pot will uh, will be thrown away so before throwing away i used to play that mud pot and uh, uh, try to uh, uh, play a lot of uh, rhythmic patterns with them my mother spotted it and uh, she made me um, uh, join uh, the murugam class with uh, 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 the great disciple of uh, uh, disciple of great palakkad maniyayar his name was tanjavur ramdas i learned from him for the first few years about 6 uh, years i learned from him and then later on for advanced training i went to under uh, ramnathapuram mm kandaswami who is a disciple of legendary paini subramanya pillai and i learned from both of them uh, for nearly about uh, say about 18 years um, my learning was there right? in 70 1977 i started until 1995 my second guru uh, ramnathapuram kandaswami passed away i was there with him so about 18 years was my uh, uh, actual learning but uh, i am always a student even today i am a student even though i have performed for about 40 years now close to 40 years i have performance more than 4000 4500 public performances i have given and still i am a student i am learning and i have taken a lot of uh, uh, advices from uh, trichy shankaran sir he has guided me a lot and uh, i have taken a lot of uh, uh, guidance from him and uh, my second guru uh, ramnath pram mmkan swami used to say you should listen to all the uh, stalwarts and then what you should do is you should try to bring them into the tradition that you belong to so that is what i have been uh, doing that is what i am trying to do recently uh, my focus uh, has shifted to uh reaching uh, the the secrets of laya to a, a larger audience that is my focus now um people who are struggling with uh, even farming simple core wise i make them uh, do a complex core wise by giving this uh, techniques and this uh, method of teaching and they uh, they try to be on their own within about 6 to 8 months uh, uh, they try to be on their own you can make your own core wise within about Six to eight months, or less than one year, you can learn the entire subject. You know, I teach through Konakol. Subject of learning Murdangam requires both learning Konakol and the fingering techniques and practice all those things. But typical learning the Konakol and the structures and the laya and the uh, nuances of uh, laya takes about uh, less than a year. Uh, I was <laughs> going to I was going to say um, you know just for the benefits of the viewers that uh, I highly. highly highly recommend anyone who is interested in conical to check out your uh, channel uh, yes yes and uh, i guess i mean you tell me but i guess uh, you uh, people can contact you on uh, on facebook or uh, or via uh, your email i uh, you can give them my email and because i don't have a facebook page uh, uh, youtube and email is the best way to contact me and you can uh, uh, give my reference to them there is no problem at all for a simple matter like a, uh, like a akshara and matra yeah that see that is, <laughs> yeah. that, is the, that is the most most basic confusion uh, most of the people will get yeah. uh, especially even with uh, people uh, artists here there is a lot of uh, anyway there is a we as as artists what we have understood as akshara is one beat whichever beat 1 2 3 4 5 6 
Seven, eight. Each yes. bit is one akshara. That is the actual thing that we have understood. Yes. And whatever, whatever we fill them with, that is the pulses that you in the Western view say pulses, no? Yes. So those pulses uh, will be considered as matra. Matra is a smaller unit. Akshara is a larger unit. That's all. Yes, exactly. Bigger units can be termed uh, as aksharas, and smaller units can be termed as matras. Mm -hmm. Matras, uh, actually in, in literature, in olden literature, there is um, Akshara, there is no word called Akshara mentioned in uh, olden uh, literature written in uh, written uh, with respect to Tala. Mm -hmm. They only mention Matra. So, Nimisha Kala, Nimisha Kala Matra, they say. That Matra means uh, that eyelids, you wink the eyelids, you know, just you uh, open and close the eyelids, you know. Yeah. Very rough. Five Oh yeah, now five such opening and closing is called a matra. Okay, I see. Nimisha kalo matra. Five such uh, opening and closing was uh, that duration. That duration, you know. Yes. So different ways of uh, different ways of expressing the time. They are all time. Different ways of expressing the time in the absence of scientific measurements. You can see. In yes. the absence of scientific measurements, within our own uh, uh, body to express the whole thing, those things are there. I don't, I don't want to get into details, but I'm said, I'm telling the origin, how it, uh, it's, it all started. Then, when the practice came, the practice of Murdangam is uh, the concert, and if you say concert tradition as a Murdangam. it is just about 150 years old or 160 years old right from the mid 19th centuries or later part of the 19th century right from 1860 1870 onwards only yes. uh, murdangam that is harikatha dance all those things started evolving and they they started using uh, murdangam as an accompaniment and all those other developments which we have seen today in uh, 2020 is uh, of recent origin so there is a tangential difference between what is written in the literature and what is not available in the literature. <laughs> so, many, so many things are there. There are so many things not available in the literature which have, we have defined later. That is practice precedes literature now. <laughs> Actually. Yes, yes. So generally literature will be first available and then you based, uh, based on the literature you try to develop on. As far as the Bradangam is concerned, most of the things are available in practice. Then the literature uh, came to be defined and uh, that is why the standardization process of standardization is very very difficult because it is a oral tradition yes. uh, because of the uh, multi uh, multifarious languages in india that is also causing a lot of confu confusions in terms of terminology uh, acceptance when you say uh, see uh, the the first first people who started uh, 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 coming to south india were marathi people marathi people uh, living in the area of, say, uh, the uh, Bombay and those areas, the western areas of India, the western part of India. So they, though those people, due to the uh, political unrest, they started coming down. They started migrating down to, uh, down beyond uh, the mountain ranges to Karnataka. And uh, the, those times there was no Karnataka or Tamil Nadu. Only I am saying with reference to today, okay, yes. those areas of Karnataka. Those areas, all those uh, areas were called southern states and then um, uh, southern places, southern India, south India or southern India. Yes. There were no uh, uh, linguistic uh, separation of states during those times when people migrated from north to south, especially those people. Um, uh, so when they came up to Mysore, the Vijayanagara, Vijayanagara Empire uh, was ruling and then they also came up to Sarfoji who was ruling in Tanjore. Those people brought the uh, Murdangam uh, tradition from them and then they uh, gave uh, different types of uh, what, what we call the Sarvalagu or the Teka or the pattern, Sarvalagu pattern. All those, all those Teka patterns or Sarvalagu patterns brought uh, by them. And he still we use the word Teka, but the Teka is more used in North India than in South India. Right. So, so when they came, they came with their own, uh, uh, their own, uh, uh, that is, um, uh, tongue. 
that is their own tongue. When the people here in South understood them, there were some uh, confusions or there, there were some difficulties in uh, transforming them into the local uh, languages. So that is why this uh, lot of uh, uh, differences in the terminology still exist even uh, today, even in 2020, it uh, <laughs> exists. So when you understand the concept of time or when you understand the concept of uh, uh, concept of uh, how the time is interpreted in a dif in different ways and how the artist sees time while performing while uh, learning while teaching while uh, making core ways more or, they are more important than uh, than the frivolous things like terminology that is my side of the story. Even though I try to explain the terminology, I always end up uh, uh, giving a, a not a not giving a good deal about it. <laughs> <laughs> this... uh, because the because the evolution, the part, the the uh, the, the process of evolution is very very uh, complex because of the influx of uh, um, uh, the Marathi people uh, to the uh, Murugan world. So the, it is very complex to define or it is very complex to uh, now analyze the evolution of a certain even the word mora a lot of people will say mora lot of will other people will say mohara That's there is a, there is an aspiration there no aspirated uh, syllable there mohara ha that has aspirated syllable is there some people address that as mohara and will will also try to convince that it is mohara and some people will say it is not Mohara, it is Mora, and they will try to convince it as Mora. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. there are a lot of terminological confusions are there when we uh, talk about this system. That causes a lot of um, difficulties, especially in terms of, uh, 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 in terms of uh, getting them across to the various people, especially the Westerners. One of them uh, that is particularly confusing for me at the time when I started was Jati, Yati and Gati. So they, ah, are, that, <laughs> they are, that is, that is actually a, that is a, a clear definition of uh, these three terms. I will tell you all of them. Yeah. Jati, Jati means Solkat, whatever, whatever syllables. Takka dimmi, takka jannu, takka dimmi, takka jannu, takka dimmi, takka jannu. So when in a combination you are making it is a jati. Jati means nothing but a combination of syllables, combination of rhythmic syllables formed as a as a cognizable phrase. Yes. So that is a jati. Jati. There is one word called jati. Both spelling will be in English. They say J A T H A J A T H A. Both. See that is also another when we are uh, uh, when you are trying to transliterate some of the words into English. The same this problem will come. So Jati is a formation of soul, that is a formation of syllables, rhythmic syllables. Jati, Jati is numbers. <laughs> I would say numbers. Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all of them are Jatis. They have different names also. When you say 3, it is a Trayashra or Tishra, 4 as Chatushra, 5 as Kanda, uh, 6 as uh, Double Trisha. There is a name also available, Divya, something, Simha. Mishra, 7 is Mishra, 8 is Simha, 9 is Sankirna, something those names are also there. They are also a lot of Sanskrit names are there. So Jati is a number, but especially the Jati word, the word Jati is applicable to only Lagu. When you say Tisra Jati, you mean that that Lagu in that particular Tala takes three beats that is one beat and two finger counts that is the that is the difference between jati and jati okay then coming to yati yati is a performance angle yati is from a performance angle see there are different types of yati yati means uh, you can say uh, this uh, some patterns in an ascending way some patterns in a descending way right and some pattern in an ascending descending ascending way or descending, ascending, descending way. So this is yati. So I will give you examples of uh, yati. When you say one, three, five, seven, it is an ascending yati. It is an ascending yati. So this ascending yati uh, is called shrota vaha yati. The terms are quite confusing, but it is uh, ascending yati. 
so when you say ascending is ta takitta takka takitta takka dimi takitta so when you combine them 1357 takka takitta takka takitta takka dimi takitta ta so this is 1357 so you can have 1234 also takka takitta takka dimi ta this is 1 2 3 and 4 so this is this is a type of one this is type see this is yati is nothing but a uh, different kinds of pattern used in performance used in uh, recitation used in uh, formation of solka to used in jati formation this is yati so when you say descending so it's the same 7 6 5 4 say takka dimmi takki tatta dhin gna tom takka takki tatta takka dimmi ta so you can use them in formation of uh, phrases continuous phrase tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tak dim mita tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tak dim mita tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tat ding gna to tak dim mita so this is a descending yati this is called a go puchcha yati go puchcha is nothing but go go is a uh, cow okay Pucha it's the tail. Is the, it's the tail of the cow, isn't it? Tail. Pucha is the tail. So as the tail tapers down, you taper down the number from a longer, larger number to a shorter number. So that is why it is called a descending yati. So when you have one, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, one. So it is like a mridanga yati. When you say mridanga, mridanga is shorter at the end and then increases in the middle. And then comes ta ta ka ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ka ta ta. So this is a so if you take a larger number, say two, four, six, eight, eight, six, four, two, then it becomes some other number. You can repeat the eight or you can leave out the eight also. Two, four, eight, two, four, six, eight, eight, six, eight, six, four, two. That is also possible. Taka taka dimmi ta ding gena ton taka dimmi taka jannu ta ding gena ton taka dimmi taka ta. This is a type of a mridanga. This is mridanga yati. So damaru yati. Damaru is another instrument which will be aya. So this is a different instrument. So that you can have five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Taka taka ta taka dimmi taka ta taka ta taka taka ta taka dimmi ta ding gena ton ta. This is damaru yati. So yati is formation of yati is only an indication. That is, see, when the uh, when the literature, uh, the earlier literature, the dasha pranas, thala dasha pranas, the ten elements like the five elements of uh, our life. Uh, there are ten elements of thala. They try to define the, the different aspects of uh, aspects of the time, different aspects of rhythm, different aspects of the time and space the relationship between time and space so the, that is, that is what we call the spatio temporal temporal relationships so in order to define each one of them and then not only they uh, they restricted themselves to defining them they also did what they did was to give some examples so yati is one of the examples of and there is a, something called prastara that is the permutation combination that is also they have given so these are all yati is one of the type of performing uh, different types of uh, syllables formation of different gati gati g a t i is gati so nadai that is a confusion will be there gati and nadai both are same some will say both are same some will say both are different i will say for them i have an answer is uh, there are two aspects going on in a tala at the same time see one is the one is the internal pulses of the tala that is that is what we call a steady rhythm right tak dim mein tak jan 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 tak dim mein even though you say tak dim mein tak jan the basic rhythm is tak dim mein tak jan tak dim tak jan that is the basic uh, uh, undercurrent that is the basic undercurrent there is one undercurrent that is going and then the syllable c tak dim tak jan tak diket tak 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 tak diket 
tati katatum, tati katatum, katim, katim, katim. This, this is one aspect of a tala. Then changing the internal pulses themselves. Taka dimmi, taka chan, taka dimmi, taka chan. Takita, 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 taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka dimmi, 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 taka taka dimmi, 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 this is changing the internal pulse is gati yes and you know in uh, in in western music we have uh, um, a, a term that I, I really like to use in in a relationship to the gati which is subdivision okay subdivision. It's, the way, subdivision. it's the way the aksharas or the way the beats are subdivided, subdivided. internally subdivided yes internal beat subdivision is gati <laughs> yes that's good. The same gati is used as nadai also interchangeably. Yeah. And I, as I understand, nadai is, a, nadai is Tamil and gati is a, is a Sanskrit. Sanskrit, that's what we say. But gati is also a, a word in Tamil. I see. Okay. The ancient, the ancient literatures, um, one of the literature says gatiyum nadayum aga. Gati is also a pace. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Gati is a pace. So you can't say that is why I'm saying that confusion with terms uh, still exists. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is bound to be there as long as uh, um, if, if even if somebody comes to standardize them, the school differences will still be existing. So it is better that we address them in English and try to understand uh, what is happening in relation to the tala than in relation to the term. <laughs> Yes, yes. So that is how I try to understand what is happening, what is the impact of some action in relation to the Tala than, than the term which is, what is in a name? My name is Balaji. Is my name actually Balaji? No. It is just, just some identification, right? Of course, yeah. Just some identification. My, uh, my soul or my internal... Uh, undercurrent has a name or not it doesn't have a name right my internal blood doesn't have a name <laughs> my, my panchabhuta doesn't have a name <laughs> so this the name is only for identification with something the identification is only with respect to the person's brain so it is only with a cognition cognition it is something to do with the way the brain relates to a certain action where the action is more important than the name that is what my I, I would say the action is more important than the name that you are going to give to it I, do, I agree with you so much uh, I, I can't agree with you more but you know especially for people and especially for Western people who are coming to study conical which is you know becoming so fashionable now Yes, yes, and they are lost in this kind of sea of Tamil and and and, uh, yeah. and and all these kind of different languages and different schools calling the different things a little different. Akshara, yes. you know, we, we spoke about it a little bit. Very difficult. So, it is very difficult. I understand that. I understand from the point of view of a, a learner who wants to a Westerner who wants to come and learn. I understand it. But um, so it is better to uh, better to understand. Uh, the terminology from the point of view of the action, <laughs> yes. the, uh, the functional, functional point, yes. from the view of the function of the action, than the name itself. Of course, yeah. So I, that I, is I how, so much, so yeah. many of the Westerners like, uh, see, uh, many Westerners, David Nelson, and then um, so many people were there, uh, they had uh, understood the, uh, um, Dinin, one um, scholar is there. Dinin, he has understood. He has written a very good, a very nice book and thesis on. So they have tried to demystify most of the terms in in a very simple English. So it, it always goes on. So the uh, <laughs> yes, uh, like uh, so for every for every new learner, the subject is new. The terms are new. <laughs> yes, yes, it never stops. Yeah. Which actually, which actually, I think, uh, well, it leads me to 
the I think the most uh, um, the the term that has the most confusion that I I saw and you know when when I was speaking to different people and that is okay. liar, the term liar, liar. and. I know you, you have a, a great way of explaining things and I, I'd just like you, you to uh, uh, give your take on uh, how would you explain to somebody who doesn't understand that term, what is a liar, what does it mean? Okay, so uh, I would say what is written in the literature first. Uh, Kriya Antarana Vishranti Laya, that is what the literature says. Kriya, Kriya means action. Kriya Antarana. Antarana means a change. Antarana is a change. Vishranti. Vishranti is a rest. Kriya Antarana Vishranti is Laya. That's what the uh, books say. And that is what it is also. I would try to explain in a better way now. Kriya Antarana. When you are saying Takkadimi, Takkadju. You are, you, you are not, see, without uttering a word, without uttering the syllables, I would put one tala, okay? I'll just give a tala. Between the first beat and the second beat, were you able to realize how much gap I am going to give? Probably you are not. I am sure. Now you listen to it again. You are waiting for my second beat. Yes. <laughs> I have not it's given true, the yeah. second beat. Out. I have not given the second beat. So I can give the second beat uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so, so the gap, understanding the gap, the space, understanding the gap between the two beats is laya. The same thing can be said in a different way. Even if I speak, this laya should never go away. The gap between the beats should not go away. I'm having a casual conversation with you, but still maintaining the laya. This is understanding the gap internally, habitually. It's, it's, uh, it's about the consistency uh, of the gap between each bit. It's about the uh, equalization. Consistency. Yes, consistency, consistency is one thing. The consistency is an external matter, I would say. There are two things, right? Consistency is an external matter. Your understanding is an internal matter. So, your understanding becomes laya, consistency becomes tala. Aha, I see. I see what you mean. What you perceive is laya, what others see is tala, what is produced is an art. I see. No, that relates to what you said in the beginning, the Kriya and, and, the, and the rest of it. Antarana. Kriya, the chain. Kriya, Antarana, Vishrantir, Layaha. That's what it says. Antarana. Kriya is action. The change, change, the first and second, the change between the first and the second. What is the gap? That understanding is Laya. The gap is the rest. Vishranti is the rest. So the understanding, the gap is internal, consistency is external, what you produce is the art. I see. When you understand the consistency and the laya, then the art becomes um, acceptable. If you don't understand, then you are somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the clouds. <laughs> it's the space, see, you cannot define space, you know. How can it, you cannot define space, you cannot measure space, you cannot fathom the space, nothing could be done, right? Yeah. So only thing, only thing that measure, measures the space is the consistency. Only thing that measures the space inside you is the laya. I see. You understand? Yeah. So the consistency is external, laya, the laya is internal.
That's so interesting. I, while you were, you were explaining all about this, I, I was kind of looking for some equivalent uh, terms in Western music. So like okay. the only thing I could come up with is time keeping or consistency and stuff. But time is, uh, that is the problem in uh, translating into, into English. Yeah. It's very difficult. Timekeeping is not layer. <laughs> it's not layer. Yeah, I understand. It's, there is a deeper meaning there, and which I really like to everyone to understand. Layer is, layer is also the tempo. They, they call it tempo also. Yeah. Tempo is also layer. Uh, actually, the books define the tempo as layer. But I'm, what I have given is the metaphysical meaning of layer. What, what it gives you, what, the, see, If I put some tala like this, you have to first understand what is the tempo in which the tala is going. And then you have to say You should first understand in what speed it is going. So that tempo, that is tempo is the one word given that could be the equivalent uh, in Western. I see. Yeah. But what I told is a metaphysical, that is something beyond, that is something beyond, that is something for everything, there is a significance. What it does to you, what it gives you, what it tells you, that is Raya, <laughs> according to me. Now, actually, this leads me to uh, um, another thing that I was, you know, uh, you know, as a, as a student of Konakol and a, a teacher uh, in Western context, um, I'm often asked this question, how can I compose my own corvise? And ah. I, I understand that, you know, within the corvise, the, there's also a lot of ter termi uh, terminology uh, within that. I mean, we spoke about wow. the yatis which are the formations of the no, no, reduction no, no, yes, etc yes. well, that is a that is a very good question uh, asaf i would say core has got two sections purva anga purva means the first anga means portion that's all okay part first part anga is part when you say in tala different angas lagu drita anudrita guru plata kakapada all of them are called angas Angas are parts. The word Anga means part. Purva Anga. Purva means first. Uttara Anga means second part. Generally, we have two parts in a core way. In order to make a core way, I would, I would like to suggest one thing for every, every uh, honest student of uh, Laya, student of uh, South Indian Konako. First, they should not directly go to the, uh, go to making core way from uh, uh, somewhere and then you land up somewhere and then you uh, then you are not able to finish it so that problem is come first I would say that there is a series of exercises in this aspect I would like to tell you one thing here that I have developed an entire course content called Kalpitalaya Kalpitalaya means at learn to learn step by step uh, uh, the different aspects of South Indian uh, Carnatic music in that you will be able to learn everything that is i have devised a system whereby you can learn all of them in a systematic way and then finally you will be able to make your own core wise i will tell you i will tell you some examples i will tell you how it goes uh, in, in the next five minutes so the first aspect that comes to anybody's mind is the uttaranga because see if you say so in this finger you are stuck with one fourth now <laughs> so you have to fill up the three fourth and then the four beats so four and three fourth beat you have to fill up now so most people are stuck there it is a simple tala let me take a misra chop tala you are stuck so now 
now 11 by 14 is left now <laughs> three gone 11 by 14 is left so 14 plus 11 25 or 25 plus 14 39 or 39 plus 14 53 or 53 plus 14 67 you will have to keep on calculating them to make your own ending portion right in Aditala, it is easy. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tati kena tata. Tati kena tata. Kata 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 kata. You can do it. You can even make it into four hour tanas also. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tatak kita takat dinat tang. Tat dim. Tati kita tum. 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 Tat Dim tak tak kita tu, tak dim tak dim tak dim. Kerja kita kerja tu, kerja kita kerja tu, kerja kita kerja tu. So this you have to. That is why I lay emphasis on understanding the uttaranga first. You should all work on uttaranga first. Uttaranga is the second portion. So what makes a uttaranga is my next session of explanation. What makes a uttaranga is fifteen three into five. 3 into 6, 3 into 7, 3 into 8, 3 into 9, 3 into 10 or whatever number you want to extend it to. Basically, it is from 5 to 10. 3 into 5, 3 into 6, 3 into 7, 3 into 8, 3 into 9, 3 into 10. So, 6 into 5, 6 into 6, 6 into 7, 6 into 8, 6 into 9, 6 into 10. Then, 9 into 9 into 5, 9 into 6, 9 into 7, 9 into 8, 9 into 9, 9 into 10. In this, you should be also aware of gaps that 3 5s, 5 5 5 5 sama, 5 1 5 1 5, 5 2 5 2 5, 5 3 5 3 5, 5 4 5 4 5 and then up to 10 gaps or 11 gaps, 15 gaps, whatever you want to do. Basically from 1 gap to 10 gap you should practice for 5 series alone, 5 kanda alone. Then 6 series 3, I will explain it now. Like this, you need to work for all the numbers from 5 to 10. So you are basically taking um, a certain number like that again at home and you are increasing yeah. the gap each time and then by that you are going backwards in time basically within yes. the uh, beat cycle why we go backwards you tell me <laughs> because you don't know what I, I don't now i'm i'm taking one yati now i'm going to take one yati right from seven onwards seven six five four three two one with the gaps three the same thing if you do it in Mr. Chop, it will give us a different result. So taka dinna takita tang, takita takita tang, tataka dinna tang, taka dinna tang, takita tang, taka tang, tatang, tat din gina tong, tat din gina tong, tat din gina tota. You can see the you can even do this. Taka dinna takita tang, takita takita tang, taka takita tang, taka dinna tang, tat dinna tang, taka tang, tatang, tat diketa to tat diketa to tat diketa to tat 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 diketa to tat diketa to tat diketa to tat din to tat diketa 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 to. Very nice. So for making a core vai, one should be well versed in Uttaranga more than Purvanga. That is my uh, uh, so many years of research uh, I have found this out. You should work on the second portion not only for Aditala, for Rupakatala, Mr. Chaputala, Kanda Chaputala, Mr. Kanda Jati, Triputa Tala, and all those uh, various Talas you should work. The major compositions are there in Aditala Rendakalai as well as Mr. Chapu. So those talas you should work. These I have kept them as um, triples, uh, sextuples, and nonuples series. So from five to ten, triples from five to ten, sextuples from five to ten, and then nonuples from five to ten. You have to work. So three times, six times, and nine times from number five to ten. 
with the gaps from 1 to 10. <laughs> I see. And by, if you practice all of them, I guess what happens is you have a bank in your memory of what piece now I, uh, I can use t- for the first part to um, yes. match a curve. And then now I the first part... See, yes. now the first part, now the first part, uh, the first part is termed with, you can use yati, any yati you can use. You can use something called as, as is a foundation pattern. Any foundation pattern. So you can use any of the as that is the foundation patterns given by our masters. So that is, so be, apart from this, you should work on trikala of the jati numbers, trikala of the five, five to ten trikala you should work. Ta, ta, di, di, naga, om, ta, di, di, na. Trikala of the jati alone, that is the five number. Ta, di, di, naga, tom, tat, ding, gen, nat, tom, tat, ding, gen, nat, for doing trikala for a number there is a simple technique uh, the mathematical technique you multiply the number by three that becomes the total akshara total fingers see for doing trikala for five 15 three is the trikala five is the number so three into five 15 so 15 fingers for doing trikala of kanda Generally, we end with the three tading and thumbs, right? So, yes. what you would have to do is leave one tading and thumb from the 15th spot, you get three. So, see, ஒருவை <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the climax of the Kovai in a way. Yes. Yeah. So when you are not able to play the climax properly, the ending portion is the only going to give you the climax. If you don't know how to give the climax, then whatever building you make, uh, there will be no roof. I see. That is like a roof. You will have only walls on the sides, but no roof. <laughs> yeah, that is a very, very uh, uh, unusual way. I mean, the, it's interesting, you know, where I was, when I was in the beginning of my studies, I was very keen on, um, uh, you know, doing my, composing my own core as, as soon as I could. And, and it was, <laughs> it, I, I had a lot of hard time. I, I struggled a lot with that because every time, you know, I would get to, uh, you know, one after the summer or two be, or three before. And then, <laughs> so what do I do? I add one, then one, you know, uh, but you know it's a, it's a very uh, your, very uh, your, effective your way mind gets shifted and confused your mind gets shifted and confused that's why the ending portion is more important that is the roof is more important without the roof how can you live <laughs> it's <laughs> as simple as that <laughs> concentrate on the roof build yeah. the build the walls <laughs> without the, the, that is also there only with the roof you cannot uh, that uh, entire thing will fall down Oh, but you you got the structure which is the tala. That's what keeps everything together. 
So then you just need to build the roof first and then the, the walls. The entire, the entire thing gets uh, completed. Yes, so yes. Yeah, any any that. simple tower you can take and do yeah. do they are just numbers simple simple type of core wise I will tell you any any take any number uh, do it three times from the from the place you try to fill up the utaranga this is nothing but in triples nine series with eight gaps if you had done the homework then it is easy <laughs> I see. Yeah. nine great. triple series with eight gaps core way making is very very complex core way making comes only with uh, the background knowledge and the basic knowledge of uh, the uh, system and this is the system where it works all those things you will be able to make at the later stage yes yeah uh, see that uh, learning requires a lot of uh, patient uh, patience and practice because the tala does see i will i will say one core way in uh, three speeds uh, which is very difficult to render normal if i say it will look easy but when you say you know it is difficult uh, so that is the difficulty of laya. Uh, one my one of my greatest friends used to tell me the laya is the relationship between you and laya. There is no mediator. <laughs> <laughs> I'll recite this code way. One, two, three, four. Tak keta taka din din tak din keta taka tati keta tum bari keta taka din din tak din keta taka tati keta tum tak keta taka din din tak. Beautiful. This is this is a very uh, difficult uh, core way to render in Tishra. So you have to get this level of perfection. In order to get this level of perfection, it takes a lot of time. In order to learn this, it doesn't take much time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So constant practice is required for <laughs> for sure for sure that's great you know one of the other things that I uh, really like about w one of the videos that you posted on your uh, channel was about uh, a rhythmic formula really beautiful rhythmic formula from uh, uh, Palgatmania year I think a master uh, yes. and I think in a brief uh, email conversation we had earlier before yes, the, yes, yes, yes. You said that there are so many. Could you share another another one of these amazing formulas that you know that you can build compositions and rhythmic patterns? And stuff? Okay, okay. I will give you one formula as a shot now. Okay. If you are if you are making a uh, making a mora and korvai for say uh, seven aksharas. 
what is 7 akshara 4 plus 3 is 7 akshara right yeah 70. 4 plus 3 so you take 4 akshara as 4 cycles of aditala uh -huh. okay this is a formula i am going to give 3 akshara as 3 cycles of aditala so total total akshara becomes 7 so 7 into 8 56 so 8 into 7 56 both are going to be same so for Misra Chapu, Adi Tala Mora and Adi Tala one hour than a core way will be from Samam to Samam. This is a formula you can use for any Tala. Beautiful. If you are if you are stuck and if you are stuck and if you are not able to not able to find a suitable mora and corvai, in the end you can use this. Four four hour than mora is equal to four akshara. Six hour than corvai is equal to six akshara. So four plus six ten. Any of the Mr. Jampa it will come. <laughs> that's a, that's a, so yeah. this, is a, this is a shortcut method, even though the experts and the hardcore uh, uh, professionals will not agree to this, but as a starting point, I can give this yeah. as to how you see. First of all, first of all, even before all these formulas or all these mathematical, all these combinations, I would like to give you one small piece of uh, advice. I wouldn't say advice because I am a student myself. So I, I can't say how it can be advice. So suggestion or a, or a piece of information I can give. All talas you should know, you should be able to do trikalam, with tishram, chatusra tishram, all those things you should do. See, ta, ka, ti, mi, ta, ti, ta, ta, ka, ti, mi, ta, this for all numbers, for all talas, you should be aware. See, what I have also developed one system for learners, Jati Alankara. Jati Alankara means you have Alankara for Swaras. From when the vocalists come to learn vocal, they are given a set of exercises in Swaras to be uh, given in a particular tala and they will sing sarika sarika marika marika mapaga mapaga mapada 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 for me sir sarika sarika marika marika mapada like that i have developed for all 35 talas a jati alankara which jati alankara with including all the gatis also this Ram, Kandam, Mishran, Sangi, Jati, Gati, Alankara. So for that, they have to work. People will work on that. If they work on that, they, they can really have a good grip on the yeah. yeah. There are simple formulas for making uh, the ending patterns. Like uh, one, uh, one, one uh, formula I'll give you is, yeah, you take any number, six. This is six. Six, five, four, three, two, one, six. Okay, this is the six. So from this point, if you want to reach the sum, you have, six aksharas so if you want to make a small pattern small uh, ending pattern for six aksharas what you do is you divide into two parts two portions first portion will have to be divided by three second portion will have to be divided by two so the three portion is the pattern two portion is the gap <coughs> carve so i divide this as four and half and uh, one and half so four and half is one and half one and half one and half and then the one and a half is three and a quarter and three and a quarter. So takita takita tam takita takita tam takita takita tam takadimi takatam takadimi takatam takadimi takatam takadimi takadam 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 takad
you know, I think, uh, I don't know for how long we've been talking about this, so much information <laughs> already there. I think uh, uh, oh, people, yeah. we'll, we'll, people will, be, uh, will have a lot to practice right now, yes. including me. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Including me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. That's uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful information. And thank you for your, um, for, for giving this, uh, uh, the, presenting this uh, wonderful wisdom to us yes. and, and uh, in such a clear and um, condensed way. I really like the, the way that you are uh, uh, presenting uh, the material. So, as I said, uh, I really recommend everyone to uh, watch your uh, clips, your interviews and your uh, lessons. And I know that you are kind of uh, basically keeping your uh, YouTube channel alive and uh, yes, it's, it's, here and there I, I see like, some... I'm posting a lot of stuff. Yes. In a short while, I'll be posting more more, more and more videos that is also coming up. They are also coming up. Fantastic. So it is very alive. <laughs> okay, yeah. and I will definitely, uh, there will definitely be a link in the description box of this yes. uh, interview to your uh, uh, channel and uh, how to uh, contact you if anyone wants to uh, 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 take lessons and, and so on. So thank you, sir, so much. This has been a, 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 a real journey, I think. Yes. Um, uh, a very condensed uh, and well presented information. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asaf, and I, I wish you all the best. And uh, I invoke the blessings of uh, all my gurus and all the great Vidwans for the continued journey on Laya. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.